Hey, what's up everyone? Marco here, welcome back to another lesson. Today I'm gonna to show you the number one finger picking technique that is going to take your playing to the next level. I call this technique the finger style roll. With the finger picking roll, you want to pluck the strings with thumb, index, middle and ring using a rolling movement. We will start with the thumb, followed by the index, middle and ring. With this technique, we can single out the notes of the chord. There is also a simple variation to the finger picking roll, which can be played with the thumb and one of the fingers. For example, it could be thumb and index, thumb and middle, or thumb and ring. The simplified picking roll works perfectly when you play a simple melody, and you can use it to really outline or emphasize certain notes of a melody. It's a beautiful approach, you can get the tab, check my Patreon page and support this channel. Also subscribe if you want to keep up with all the upcoming lessons. Now let's have a close up and let's learn how to perform the finger picking roll. Now guys, we're going to play four chords, A minor, C major, with the voicing on the E string for number three, G major, with just the low E string fret 3, D, G, and the B string fret number 3, and the F major over C, an F major chord without a bass note, just the A and D string fret 3, and the G string fret number 2, and the B string fret number 1. A minor, C, G, F over C. Now for the simple finger picking roll, we're gonna play the chord progression like this. So I'm playing thumb and middle together, then the index, and then the thumb again. Is a pattern in three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now the secret here is to, rather than play the thumb and uh, middle together, we are going to separate the plucking. So I'm gonna have the thumb going first, followed by the middle finger. Now, when I pluck with the thumb, I'm going to uh, uh, rest the finger on the string below. So for the A minor, I'm gonna pick the string and then rest the thumb on the D string. This is called a rest stroke. And then I will then after pick the B string with the middle finger. Then I have G and D again with index and thumb. So rather than just pick the chord together, we are going to single out the first note of the chord. C major. So fifth string and top E string. G major, low E string and B string. And F major, A string and B string. Now we can also use the finger picking roll with thumb, index, middle and ring. It sounds like this.
Now I'm using thumb, index, middle and ring. You wanna consider this movement more like a slow strum done with the fingers. Now the movement is very simple, yet a lot of people struggle to get this technique right at first. Now we're gonna have thumb, index, middle and ring on 5th, 4th, 3rd and 2nd string. And you wanna quickly go from thumb to ring. We are not going to use the rest stroke for the thumb and I already have the fingers on the strings. Now as soon as I perform the roll, then I will keep going with the arpeggio. So you have one, two, three, one, two, three. Notice that when I change chord, I put down the chord and then the fingers are already on the strings. One more time, put the fingers, A minor, five, four, three, and two. Notice how I go from playing the finger picking pattern right before I, I pick the chord, my fingers are already on the strings. Now if I had to strum the chord, I could have the same effect, the same rhythmic effect. with the roll. Now guys, we can also add a simple melody. So we're gonna play like this. A minor. And then on the B string for number one, three, and E string open. For the G major. We play the E string open, B string fret three, and the B string open. And then we have the F major chord. Now I'm playing an F add nine chord, beautiful. The D string fret three, G string open, B string fret one, and the E string fret three. Same finger picking approach with the rolling. Two, three, and we'll go back to the A minor. 